Yo, I wanted to talk to y'all about something. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to y'all about T. Rogers, man. And I wanted to tell y'all how much he meant from coast to coast to everybody. Some shit y'all really ain't know. You understand? I'm going to drop it on y'all. Like, for real, for real. Because that shit, that shit broke me, bro. Y'all, you had OG Bob, Cody. Like, you feel me? Like, these is like niggas that when they mention certain sets and shit like that, that they recognize them for, you know? So that shit hit different, bro. You know? Ain't no funny shit or nothing, man. Rest in peace to Monster Cody, man. Word. Rest in peace to OG Bop. Word. Rest in peace to all the homies that lost their lives, man. What I wanted to talk to y'all about today is the big homie T-Rex, you heard? And when I say the big homie T-Rex, I'm talking about T. Rogers, you heard? AKA Teddy Bear, you heard? Facts. That's what my mother used to always tell me. Anytime you see Teddy, give him a hug. I was a little dude, bro. Yo. And the only reason why I'm doing this, right, as an empath, because, like I told y'all before, previously, man, like, my life has sent me through so many different travels and so many different roads, bro. Like, this is my family, like, you understand? I ain't a stony, but I told y'all earlier that, before that, a stony called me and all that, you feel me? They get that shit from the big homie T. Rogers, man, word. Rest in peace to his brother. Shot town you heard? Shit niggas don't tell y'all, you heard? That Chicago shit right there, you heard? Facts. Certain thing ain't to be discussed, though, you know, but... I just wanted to pay my homage, you understand? Because... My spiritual dad, you know what I mean? He, We talked, we chopped it up and shit. You know what I mean? He hit me. You know what I mean? I hit him. We chopped it up back and forth and all that. You know what I mean? He got, he got a chance to understand where I feel about it and why I feel the way I feel, bro. You understand? Like, fuck whack. This ain't got nothing to do with whack. This got to do with the rest in peace to the big stony. Like, for real. That was a Chicago movement, nigga. From his older brother. Why it's important to me? Because I got younger brothers. But because who he was, who he was, you feel me? He took all the lessons from his older brother. You know what I mean? And put it in a situation to where he could transmute it. You know what I mean? Like a Pisces, you know? And I'ma say this one more time. We the only sign, you heard? That could transmute to everything physical. And the elementals. Gas, water, solid, you heard? Ain't no coincidence, bro. Rest in peace, T-Rex, man. I appreciate you, bro, you heard? Cause I remember the homie TG, you heard? You was his role model, bro. Everything. And he know me personally. He see me putting work and all that. In the middle of putting work. Yo, homie, let me ask you see your homie. Check this out, yo. It's about to go, yo, move on. He was like, do you, bro? All right. We outside then. On my kids, nigga. I want to appreciate T. Rogers, right? For everything that he stood for. In terms of militancy, you know, structure. I don't like getting to like, oh, I live around a nigga. He do this, this, that, and the third or whatever. I, I'm not into none of that, nigga. You heard? You can't come around me and talk bad about a nigga around me. Because my big homies always told me, yo, why this nigga feel like he could tell you? And then I got like 30,000 niggas looking at me like, Nah, I'ma pop on you right then and there, nigga. Win, lose, or draw. Who gives a fuck? 
Leave me land. Rest in peace to T. Rogers, man. What? You know? One of the things that hurt me most, big homie, you heard? I'm talking to you, you heard? The big stony, nigga. Because niggas ain't know nothing about no fucking stony, nigga. Without him, what? Nigga, my mother was a super queen when it came to that. That's what gave me my lineage, you know? I just don't agree with the fact or even like the fact that, you know, like, people will say things out their mouth about certain people, you know what I mean? And not know, like, who love them, who really care about them, like, for real, for real, like, on some serious shit, not like, oh, I love you because I'm going to get something out of it, but no, I love your soul, I love your spirit, you heard? That's the big homie, man. It's T. Rogers, man. Come on, man. The fuck? My mother <laughs> taught me a whole bunch of things about her life before she met my pops. Well, you know what I mean? Before they split up and all that. And she taught me about that. You know what I mean? Because I met him after his situation. Really, really met him. Other than that, I was a child. But I was with her. And she was loving, kind, caring, nurturing, and all that to me, bro. Like, that's why, like, when I see a lot of people or see a lot of brethren or see a lot of people do certain things, man, and move a certain way, man, I look at them in a different way. It ain't like I'm conceited. I'm going to say this again. It has nothing to do with that, man. You got a lot of people walking around, right? coming in the name of, and I'm, t- I'm telling this, you know what I mean, to my spiritual family, my ratchet niggas, my weird motherfuckers, and anybody else that's at the tables that people thought they shouldn't be at, come to the table, it's our time now, trust me, I'm not gonna lie, I know for a fact, I could disappear and say, alright, let me lead them to their own vestiges, I've been doing this shit a long time since I was born. But I'm going to tell y'all a secret about that later on. That's an addition to something else. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all really in tune and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, man, rest in peace to T. Rogers, man. We love you, bro. You heard? One of the things that made me mad is, man, I don't like people to talk about their own, bro. You feel me? That should be a backroom conversation. That should never be nothing that you discuss in the public in front of people who could critique either you or him based on your accusation or your response. This is what my mother taught me. Family values like type stuff. We have family meetings. We sit down, we talk about what we want to talk about and we get it over, man. Shout out to Ty Guns, man. Word. Shout out to TG, man. You know what it is, man. Word. I want to give a shout out, man, to a couple of my other niggas, too, man. Word. The homie Skip and shit. The big fool. You know what I mean? Doing his numbers like he should. You know what I mean? Also, I wanted to say, um... Crippin' piece to fucking Gonzo, man. Word. That shit was crazy. That he got that was crazy. I ain't even no politics, you heard? Just wanna show niggas love on my mama's side of the family on some Suwo West Side shit. Can I? You know? Cause I am. You know why? Cause all of those conversations that made me who I am right now, I had those with her too. Because this was her side of life. And I love y'all for that, you heard? And once again, man. Shit. Rest in peace to Monster Cody, man. OG Bop. T-Rex. A.K.A. T. Rogers. 
We love you, big homie. You miss, homie. But never forgotten. I be you. You be me. Red Cloud TV. Rest in peace to T-Rex, man. Inspiration for the nation, man. On real talk and real time and real life. It's too few, big homie. There'll never be you, you heard? Rest in peace, man. To the big stony. The super big stony. The real ranger. Love you for your message, man. Even though it was trickled down, man. There'll never be a you. Another you, man.